Hey everybody, welcome back to the Computer Tech YouTube channel. I'm here today to show you overclocking capabilities of the NVIDIA GT, or GeForce GTX 470. Um, this one I'm currently testing is a Galaxy version. Um, and I pretty much want to show you what this is capable of. This has been running for a little over 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, temperatures are already pretty much just about maxing out right here at 71, 72 degrees. Um, let me show you what I have with MSI afterburner. So here you can see I've upped the voltage to 1.087 core clock up to 800. Um, the shader clock's com completely maxed out. Memory, I've gone up on that. That is the tricky one right there. Um, th that's the hardest one to, to tweak that I find. Um, you, I mean, it's, it's very sensitive. I've tried several different settings and um, a few crashes and this right here is work, works best for this setup here. Um, if you're going to overclock this card or any graphics card, uh, it's definitely a good idea to have your fan set to 100 because um, when you kick up the voltage, you kick up the heat um, and that's just the safest way to do it. And let me just show you this compared to the regular stock settings. There's the stock. You can see the shader clock um, and your core clock right there. Um, one of the things is, you know, you have all these companies selling super clocked, overclocked versions of these video cards and to be completely honest, there's really no point in getting buying that because um, they're only tweaking it just a little bit just so they can say it's overclocked and get a little more cash out of it. You're way better off just buying a stock and then uh, using MSI Afterburner overclocking it yourself. Um, but as you can see, it's running just fine, nice and stable temperatures are pretty cool um, for this card. The 470s, 480s are known to be super hot cards and as you can see this is running quite well um, just at fans at 100. I could probably drop the fan down a little bit um, to lessen the noise because right now you got the airplane turbine noise but uh, you know if you're going to be overclocking things like that you really shouldn't be bothered by noise. That shouldn't be an issue. But uh, there you go. Um, pretty easy overclocking of the GTX 470. And thank you. We'll see you next time.